In this podcast, we're going to take a quick look or a quick tour of the Course Builder tool. And the way you get to that tool is you go to Tools in the nav bar and go down to Edit Course and then go to Course Builder. It's going to have some links here for instructions if you want to look at those. Um, and this, if you uncheck this box, you won't get this every time. And to get past this, you just go ahead and click the Start button. Now, in this, there are three different columns here. Uh, to the left, we have um, placeholders, uh, content, and a way to browse various tools like the drop boxes, quizzes, and things like that. In the center, we have a canvas that, in a new course, would be blank with the exception of this top module up here, uh, which um, signifies the course itself. And since that's highlighted, on the right, we have a contextual menu or a display panel. And that display panel is going to change depending on what you've clicked on. So it's contextual. Okay, so right now, since the Courses clicked on is giving me information about the course, and I can edit the course information from here. I can create a module. Um, it gives me the path to the course and some other information about the course. If I click on a module, it gives me information about the module. I've got the ability to edit the module from here. And in other videos, we're going to show how to add content and add placeholders and things. But the one thing you need to understand about the way D2L operates. If you have something, say a Dropbox or a quiz item or a discussion that has um, a grade associated with it, there are three different components that you need to be concerned about. And if I go over here to content, let me show you what I mean. If you go to um, Let's see here. We'll go to, to one of the drop boxes. So this module has a drop box. And the link here, this is just a shortcut to the item. The real drop box itself is located in the nav bar under assessments and drop box. And there's the drop box there. Now, if it's got a grade item, you'd also be able to go to assessments grades and here is my VARC Dropbox assignment. So we have this Dropbox or excuse me we have this grade item we have the Dropbox itself and in content we have the link to that assignment or that Dropbox. Now, if I delete this, it's just going, and I take the default option, it's just going to delete the shortcut to the, the actual Dropbox itself in the Dropbox tool. So as you're creating content, there are a number of ways you can build it. You can build it in Course Builder. You can build it in the content area. You can build it by creating everything, all the drop boxes, say, in the Dropbox tool, all the quizzes in the quiz tool, and then adding them in here. Um, and then you'd also need to create your grade items. And that can be done as you create the item. Um, so there's a number of workflows you can pick. The nice thing about the course builder is it gives you a great blueprint for how your course is laid out. So if you're really not sure um, how you want to lay it out and you're starting a new course, it's a great place to go. And originally we'd been told when we went to 10.1 that it was going away. It's a, it was a new tool in version 10.0. And in 10.1 they had originally planned on getting rid of it, but now they've added a way to add content, like some content from Pearson and Cengage, and the way you add it is from this course builder. So I don't think it's going away anytime soon. So if you're a couple ways you can use this, you can come here to lay out the framework for a course. You could also lay it out in say Visio or um, PowerPoint or something to create kind of a workflow of the course. Um, as you build it, you can sketch it out on paper, but it's really great to do that upfront planning 
uh, before you get in and start adding content. Um, the other way you can use it is to come in here and look at your course after you've built it. And if you expand each of these modules, it's going to show you everything that's in the module. And if you click on anything, it's going to tell you about it. So you can see if things have been published. Um, and if I go down here to, say, that Dropbox item, if I expand this module, click on the Dropbox, it's going to show me that 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 assignment or, uh, or that Dropbox is available. It's been published. Um, it's going to tell me information about it that is graded, what the scale is, uh, things like that. You can also edit the Dropbox from here. Um, so it really is a great tool as you're starting out a course or if you want to go back in and kind of look around because you can kind of go in here and just kind of blow open all of your modules and get kind of a nice overview of what you've got. And you can move things around in here. We'll look at that in some of the other modules on how you can move content, add content, delete content, and things like that. So if you go through and open up all your modules, you'll be able to kind of get a great overview of your course um, as you go through if you're looking for something. Um, it may be a quick way to locate it. Another quick way to take a quick overview of your course and be able to see all the content in it is to actually click on the table of contents link in the content area. That will also show you all of your content there, all the modules popped open. Now you can close them or close them down by clicking here if you don't want to look at all of them. But by default, it's going to have all of those open up so you can see them. So check out the other videos on how to use Course Builder and how to add content, uh, create a structure for your course by adding uh, placeholders for modules. And you can really go in and mock the whole thing up before you actually start adding any content and then move things around. Um, so it's really a great way to kind of try and picture what you want to put in, especially if you're really not sure how you want to organize it. Mm -hmm.